Do you love trains and railway transportation? Oh, and wait, there's more. You're also actually a really, really rich person who likes to live the life of Riley because you're extremely rich, right? Rich, rich, rich. Well, then this one's for you because this high-tech, all-glass smart train has drop-down terraces that fold out onto the railway tracks. This is, the, this is the, uh, the website we're reading from today. And look at this actual beautiful thing. Now look, this is a concept design at the moment. This hasn't been built yet, but the designer, we're gonna talk all about the designer in a second. The designer wants to get this thing built. And if it does ever get built, it will be the most luxurious, amazing train that humanity has ever ridden. Wow. Let's read onto this right now. So famous trains, right? Like the Orient Express, the Super Chief, and the Flying Scotsman. Not to mention the Sydney Red Rattler, the Sydney Tangara, the Sydney V-Set, the Sydney S-Set, uh, all those trains. <laughs> We've actually done a review on this Sydney Tangara train. You guys may remember it, but anyway. <laughs> but in my mind, those trains are pretty, pretty awesome too, okay? But anyway, yes, you know, the Orient Express, the Super Chief, and the Flying Scotsman, they defined the luxury you know, the luxury railway experience in the 20th century, okay? But a new bespoke smart train, whatever that word means, I don't even know, with its all glass exterior and uh, golden hue, okay? Promises to reinvent travel by rail in a unique 21st century way. We're gonna show you a lot of these photos in a second. There's a quick sneak peek, little glimpse of what we're talking about, but we'll read on a little bit more. We tend to think about rail transportation, right? Only in terms of speed moving lots of people from point A to point B uh, in record time, right? That's what most people think, including myself. Uh, says this Paris-based designer, Mr. Gagan, who conceived the G train, but this 14-car train would belong to a single owner, apparently. Uh, it is an alternative, very you know, luxurious, leisurely way to see the world beyond the yacht and the jet. Now, by the way, going back to this, this is actually a Tangara, the T-set, but they make a different variation of this in real life called the G-set, which goes a little further, like up the mountains and, you know, different areas around the Sydney rail network. So yeah, then I'm, I'm spitting off useless knowledge. I know, I know, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gagan, right, as a designer known for super yachts, get ready for this, all right? He apparently built Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs' super yacht when he was alive, a 262-foot Venus, and many other super yachts, right? The guy's a bit of a legend. Uh, he started out as an industrial designer, creating products for a Louis Vuitton, apparently. Wow. And other fashion houses, and then moved to motorcycles and hotel interiors. The guy likes the high life, and he likes to invent the high life, pretty much. Uh, he shifted to sailboats in the early 90s. Good old 90s, right? But eventually designed his way into the top tier of the super yacht sector. Now let's have a quick look at this, some of these photos. You know, this is obviously uh, art that's been made up to show what the design of this train could look like. I mean, that that's incredible. It looks like something out of Star Wars, the prequels, right? <laughs> the the, uh, the the CG-a-thon prequels, they, they do look, uh, the art here, it looks very amazing, very high tech, I guess you could say. You know, having loved trains since childhood, same, me too, what a coincidence. He views the G-Train as the last way to say something new about travel. Interesting, now while focusing on luxury and technology. Certainly it's a radical concept for a type of mass transportation considered uh, utilitarian, how do we pronounce this one? Utilitarian. Utilitarian at best and uh, acquainted at worst. Antiquated. Antiquated at worst. What do these words even mean? Uh, Gagan sees his G-Train as more than a $350 million toy, but as a way to explore the world in a fresh new way. Sounds like a Disney song. A whole new world in a fresh new way. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, if the train is ever built, it will be a technical marvel about 1,300 feet long. That's a lot of feet, everybody. Uh, the exterior will be high tech glass that can shift from being entirely transparent to opaque to, or even black, right? Uh, the, the train will give off a golden hue as it barrels along the tracks at 100 miles per hour. Look at this thing. My goodness, 
Look, I'm just going to remove my face for a second. Look at this thing. This is a top-down view. So you're on the very top, like on a bridge, for example, seeing everyone have fun and the wind's blowing past and people are having smoke and probably by then everyone's smoking pot because it's now legal. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I would love to make a video, a vlog on this train, right? The next generation, by the way, people that live in glass houses shouldn't be throwing stones. People that live on glass trains, get ready for this, shouldn't be, <laughs> uh, shouldn't have a drop down terrace that folds out onto the railway tracks. Uh, that's just asking for troubles. Let's just hope there's no train coming, okay? But anyway, going back to what we're actually talking about, <laughs> the next generation glass functions on more than the exterior, but reimagines the interior with different settings, shades of light, or moods. Now, Mr. Gagan is obsessed with offering light in its many forms, viewing it as the way to enhance luxury. I'm, I'm all for this. Please, some bloody buy this train. Uh, with the push of a button, the owner and guests can fill the interior with seven types of scenery. It might be winter outside, but the owner can suddenly be surrounded by a beautiful summer's day with flowers and meadows, says Gagan. I'm not too sure what that means. Does that mean some sort of digital screen? I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe, that, maybe that's what he means. Uh, the train is essentially a stage that the owner can configure in many ways. It sounds like something from Back to the Future, how in part two, Marty goes to his house, right? And sees all the, you know, the, the, the TV window, sorry, the window is actually a television, I think. Am I saying that right? Anyway, yeah, it reminds me of that. Now, over the last three years, Mr. Gagan has put together a team the guy's dedicated, right? Get ready for this. He's put together a team from Swiss custom train builder, this, this company, to French glass manufacturer, this company, <laughs> as well as UK engineering firm, that company. Hey! And railway operations specialists, right? He's got, he's got all these people to make this dream of his a reality, to make the fantasy re a reality for anyone with a big enough checkbook, right? This is incredible. Look at the look at the garden in there. Wow, that's that's actually really really cool. Wow. Please, someone bloody make this. We have we ha we had to ensure the feasibility of the project before we moved ahead. He says adding the train can travel ac across Europe and Asia from Barcelona to Beijing as well as North America. Now, one massive problem here. What about Australia? Cheers, mate. Crikey. Crikey. No. What about Australia? Come on, we need one of these, all right? That's my little beef with that one. Now, the layout came from Gagan's history as a super yacht designer. The Ford cars, sorry, yeah, the Ford cars include a large owner's suite, guest rooms for 18, a gym, a spa, dining car, and public areas that can accommodate everything from live theater to art shows. Wow, the rich just keep getting richer, don't they? Uh, the last car, is the toy chest from Fifty Shades of Grey, maybe not, <laughs> says Gagan, uh, holding the owner's collection of cars, motorcycles, and off-road vehicles that allow exploration away from the train, not to mention hitting sticks and gagging devices and exploration on other people's bodies. No? No? Too soon? Okay. Uh, according to the designer, the G train is ultimately about riding the, the world's rails in luxury, but seeing the surroundings in a new, very private SNM kind of way. Uh, someone help me. There, I'm guessing this is like a long exposure shot of the train going past, is it? This is an artistic rendition of what it would look like. Uh, yep, cool. This would be for an owner who is crazy, but in a good way, he says, it allows greater access to many areas than a super yacht. Uh, it would open up a whole new chapter in the owner's life. Wow, can someone please buy this thing? Let's have a quick review on the photos again. And that would be incredible walking through this, this uh, was it 14 car train, I think you said? Wow, look at that, it's absolutely incredible. That, that's definitely something out of Star Wars, right? When uh, Anakin is talking to Padme and trying to hook up with her, right? That's <laughs> that's something out of that, right? Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. If you guys like this video, we are making daily videos on channel two, this one right now. But of course we are on channel one as well. We make travel vlogs, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tall Boy Gareth. My name's 
My name's Gareth and I have been tall. Uh, I love you all. I'll see you for the next video. Peace out. Bye.